And here it is. Merry Christmas, one and all. I hope Santa's brought you everything you've asked for. And if not, then maybe just weren't good enough this year. I'm sorry. Face the facts, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I was younger, the night before Christmas Day would transform me into a full-blown insomnia. I'd always go to bed early on Christmas Eve, but then I'd wake up about 3am and I'd see the stocking at the end of my bed, and I'd just be giddy with excitement, and I wouldn't make it back to bed. Simple as that. So instead of trying to sleep, I would just read my books, you know, the old-fashioned form of entertainment before iPods, iPads, and Kindles all came around. And then just wait until about 7 o'clock in the morning when it was just about reasonable enough to go and wake my parents and say, Santa's come! Santa's come! God, my dad used to hate me for that. His day off and I'm waking up at 7 in the morning. What is life? For the last few years, my nan's always stayed around, so there's five of us all opening our presents in the morning, which is always nice to do it, and then we get to enjoy the gifts afterwards. Even though I'm now 21, I still love the whole stocking experience, and I can never bear the idea of just giving someone money for Christmas. That's just not me. It's not so much what's in the stocking, it's more about sharing the moment of opening presents together. God, that sounds so, so corny. But it is Christmas after all, it's gotta be corny, isn't it? I only ever have a slice of toast for breakfast on Christmas Day because, to be honest with you, it's all about the main attraction later on in the day. Christmas is not about breakfast. Then at one o'clock, it's over to my aunt's for Christmas Day dinner with my mum's side of the family for what can only be described as the most wonderful, delicious roast in existence. Seriously, it isn't just for turkey. Her stuffing is to die for. It's like sausage meat and it's just, oh. So, so good. After that, it's time for more presents from the family, and it may be a game or so before we head home for a festive film or two. That's the way it always has been, I'm pretty certain it will remain the same this year. It's not often I realise how incredibly lucky I am at Christmas. I mean, this Saturday before Christmas was dubbed Panic Saturday because of how many people were going out and buying last minute presents and gifts. The upside of this is that you may just find that perfect little trinket or toy to make someone's Christmas the best it can be. The downside is the cruel hypocrisy that there'll be many who will be in poverty, in debt, or just alone at this time of year. I mean, apparently in the UK alone, there'll be 13 million of us in poverty at Christmas. It's 2014 as well, and that's the case. I mean, what a golden age we live in, eh? I'm sorry if that might seem like quite a sobering statement on a day when everyone just wants to forget about all the problems in the real world and enjoy just being festive. I mean, that's the main reason why we can't have Christmas every day. I mean, yes, it wouldn't be a special, but the world wouldn't function properly if it was always Christmas. I'm not saying you should go out and donate all your money to charities either. I'm just saying, you know, value what is really important in your life. You know, what is intrinsically important. No, you know, the gifts are just, you know, they're second to none. It's family and friends that really matter. More than anything, have a very Merry Christmas. I'm sure you deserve one. On the first day of Christmas, Zeppelin gave to me a video because I subscribed.